All right, so here I am on a no AC call downstairs on the thermostat. It's blank. So let's check this thing out, see what's going on. I can take this off. I don't need the mask anymore that I'm not outside. So. Everywhere you go, you gotta wear these things now. It's the law. The law says so. But you know what? It's okay. Cool. Uh, it's like the carrier one, just like this. Do I have any voltage? Transformer and the power. Yeah, I got power for my transformer and a fuse here. Boom, mm, looks toasted. All right, well, let's turn this thing off. Screw on the floor. Let's connect my low voltage, make sure nothing's grounded. Disconnected. Alligator clip. Alligator clip and resettable breaker. They all come in handy. So one alligator clip. Let's put it on ground. Ah, yeah, whatever. I guess I was just gonna touch the wires, but so the thermostat wire, part of ground. Open line, yellow to ground, open line, white to ground, open line, green to ground, open line, they're all good. Up on the unit side, 68, high ohms, it's good. Open line, my economizer is probably opened. High resistance, the heat circuit's good. And then my blower motor. All right. So to here it's good. Bad fuse. Let's see. So the transformer is going to test the ground most likely if I disconnect my common. So even though now actually I'm disconnected, but see this is going there. This is going the other way. Okay, high resistance. And this is to the transformer. Okay, just the coil resistance, so. All right, so this was high resistance. So my low voltage doesn't really look shorted. All right. Let me. ground nothing white to ground up oh, yellow to ground shorted gray green open that green shorted and open so this one B35 I think that's my blower contact. Let's see, B35, what is this? B35, okay, that's my blower. That one's not shorted. The other one has no labeling that, I, oh, it does, K3A. Okay, that's a common, most likely, even though mostly grays are. Now we got, so yellow is shorted from here. This off of here is what? J23. This is J31. And we got what here? 
K1A. Oh, this contact, it doesn't look good. Uh, it's a little discolored. What's underneath it? That wire is overheating. Yeah, that thing is cooking. So, and it looks all darkened and burnt up over here. So, let's just pop this back on. And let's see. What kind of resistance does this thing give me? Oh, that's almost a direct short. There's like no resistance on that thing. Let's check the other one right next to it to compare resistance. 14, so that's got resistance. This one's like point something. No resistance. It's burnt up. You can see it's all discolored here. It's burnt up on the bottom. It's a pretty good indication of a problem. Let's go with a resettable circuit breaker. Just to make sure we eliminate the problem. So, let's put the power on. Now we first connect this. Put this stuff back on now. This will just trip it right away. Okay, good, good. That's, so far, we're blinking. No trip. All right, so let's start with R and G. Bring the blower on, which should work. Blower's on. Okay, let's bring on Y. Boom, insta trip. So, contact is toast. Kill power goes in, but whatever. We get a new one and replace it and see what happens. All right, so let's get this stuff installed. How oh, do I need to disconnect? One quarter inch. I miss my really long one. Somewhere I put it. It'll be found. It will be found. It's probably in my garage. So. All right, let's verify that there's no power before I light myself up like a Christmas tree. Wonder what happens to the camera when that happens. So voltage, nothing. It's out of my way. These are out of my way now. All right, so the top here has three reds. This yellow wire is super tight, whatever this. No slack, no slack. But now let's see the bottom. This is where it's burning. Is the connection loose? Uh, that moves back and forth, but it could just be burnt. But it looks like, it looks like this may just be a little loose. Just like this, it wasn't tightened. I guess I'll tighten it down. That's why I just tighten them every time you change anything. Somebody changed this and probably didn't tighten those. It was like, oh, it's just good enough. Problem is it's not good enough because it's not a solid connection. Let's take these off. Cause that's what led to these overheating. So this is one side. I'm gonna twist them together. This way I know that they go on one side. And I'm sure I'd remember. Nothing else is on that side. So now I got three over here. Ah, you know what? Let's not screw things up. All these colorful things on the bottom. These are my thermostats. Let's put the thermostat wires. Let's wrap it around here. All right, it's kind of tucked out of the way. So this way, any yellow wire now laying around 
doesn't go back to my thermostat. It's a double yellow. Yeah, we're gonna go back to my thermostat, but give it some slack. How do I get it closer to all the other yellows that's gonna connect to? This way I don't screw up. Now I don't get to hit rewind and go back in time. Not time for that here. It'd be nice if I could. Put this through here. So I know this goes to here. Well, then the same for here. One red. Two reds and three. So, so put these two together. And tuck him in the middle. Oh yeah, there we go. Now let's get this out of here. We all have our different ways of doing things. If it's a small residential unit, you could just rip it all off and pop it back on here. Yeah, who wants to waste time tracing them all out, following the schematic to where they go? I mean, if you feel like practicing, you can, but if you remember, you're on the customer's time, so. It's a maintenance, maybe. Trying to get all that shavings from the overheating. same size. I hate when that happens. Put the wrong bit back in. Next thing you know they're all too big. It was the top that the main lines hit. Tighten that. On the bottom I'll tighten up and just loosen these up. At least he's got a double. Because that was going to be my next problem, is that I only got two on here. Uh, I could always splice. So, we're going to put him in and just like this. Tight, tight. One of these is for him. Piece of garbage in here. So reds to the one side, yellows to the other. Doesn't matter. I want to keep the reds and reds together. So the reds we'll put out over here. Single red. There. Double red. It's a bubble gum, isn't it? Double red. Bubble gum. We'll turn them in. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. In, good, because we want everything tight. 
yellows, at least they doubled it up. So the one double yellow on the out, single yellow in. Okay. The reds are gonna continue at the bottom. We'll take these two, put them together. Let's turn them around, fit better. There we go. Oh, we got these guys, oh no. Plastic's burnt, but what about the wire? Only one way to find out. I could replace it, but. And the plastic's brittle, but the inside's probably fine. And if that's the case, just get rid of the plastic. Yeah, the wire itself looks good. So I'm just gonna use this wire on his own. Right there, and then the yellow goes right to him. That's connected. Now a little voltage. Okay. Make sure these are tight on the low voltage side. You don't want them slipping off. That also causes problems. Good. Let's see what this one tests the ground. It only takes two seconds, so. Nine, it still has resistance. So, instead of zero. Which I mean, you look at that, it's overheated, overheated into here, probably melted the coil. You can see it moves, For whatever reason. He moves too a little. So that's why you always wanna tighten them when they're not tight, they move. All right, so let's bring our line voltage in. Single or three phase? It's three phase. Ah, I should have marked my ro my phasing for rotation. At least the condenser fan could only go one way. Let's see, is it a three phase motor? See blower motor, outdoor fan motor, blower motor, B3. B3, T1, T2. Yep. Straight line of power always. So we're gonna have to make sure I have the correct rotation. We're off to switch that around. First I should make sure it works, right? Instead of being overly confident. I choose to be overly confident anyway because in the end I'm going to have to make sure the rotation's right since I just screwed up the phasing possibly. I'm wondering where that door is. I have to take this off like New York. 
Hmm. Let's see, does it come off? Nope. It just comes off. Some of the Yorks, you gotta take those things off just to get in. Okay, we'll put this right here. Boom. Okay, so right now, what do we have here? All my low voltage, all the line voltage, put kind of like that. Go off. Make sure I didn't jump ahead of myself here. Tight. Tight. These are loose. So tighten them. From the factory, most likely. Alright, so right now we have low voltage tied R, Y, and G. Breaker reset. Blower's on. Nope. Rotation is wrong. As you can see, gotta go this way. So that means I gotta swap these. Does this and it's never wired it backwards for a second, it's lying through their teeth. Not everybody markets it every single time. Sometimes you just want to get out of a job, you just do it, and it's like, oh shit, I should have done that. As you watch videos of other guys working, just remember one thing it's easy to watch and judge, or just watch and see what people miss. Then they'll live through the experience. Here we go, rotation's right. Compressor's on. Perfect. I just gotta close it up and get out of here. Until next time, guys, and also put in the three amp fuse. I'm out. Peace.